Hi everyone. Uh, now we're going to jump right into the guts of LinkFit and show you one of the most important features and one of the best features of LinkFit, which is how to run your sessions and uh, training agendas right through the calendar. That includes being able to build the clients, track all of the important metrics from their, uh, their purchase orders and everything right through the calendar. And this is where the automation of LinkFit really starts to kick in and where the magic starts to happen. So let's jump straight in and take a look. You'll first notice, obviously, that we have all of the regular functions of LinkFit accessible at the top uh, in the menu. And down to the left side, we have some quick links to get you to the most relevant data that you might need whilst being on the calendar. The calendar has essentially adopted, been adopted as our home screen because of the fact that we spend most of our time here as personal trainers managing our client schedules, our sessions, and our appointments. Uh, like most other calendars, we've got basic functions. We can jump forward and backwards in time. Uh, the, today's week will always be highlighted with the day there. And then if we jump backward, we can always return uh, by hitting the today button and that'll bring us straight back to today. So if you skip forward a few months, uh, uh, very easily you can skip back using that today button. Over to the right side, you'll find uh, the month, week, and day view options. The, the, uh, the option that's selected is always gonna be highlighted in orange, so it always defaults to the week view because that's generally where we do most of our work. The month view is a nice little summarized version of a month view. Uh, each day is basically condensed with an icon letting you know how many more events or items are in, are in that calendar day. So if you look down to the 12th here, that's today. It's nicely highlighted. It tells me that there's 11 more events. If I wanna see that agenda in full, I can click and open and there you have my day's agenda. Going up to the day view, we don't use this too much in the um, uh, the desktop uh, version because it's just a, a little bit of a waste of space but it's very useful in the mobile app version so you'll find that the interaction in the mobile app you'll tend to use that day view and flick uh, from day to day quite comfortably. If we go back over to the left here under the quick links you've got your calendars and this is a list of every calendar in your organization for me uh, we've got every trainer we've got our administrative um, staff we've got our manager our marketing manager myself i've also got a test calendar i play around with stuff quite a lot and then we've got you'll see client sessions and client events uh, if i click back to the week view You'll notice down here that I, ha I have an, a session entered uh, last uh, on Monday um, for a gentleman at 6 p.m. If I deselect the client session view, because that's a session and not a regular event, it will now disappear. So we generally always want that client session view uh, active. Uh, and if you find that you can't see the sessions that you're entering in, you may find that that has been deselected uh, by accident. So I tend to say keep that one selected. Now I can obviously deselect my calendar and this gives you an idea of what it's going to look like when you first jump into LinkFit. Uh, you've got a blank canvas and I really strongly urge that you get in there and start blocking out your day and your daily schedule. So we'll reselect that again. Now, if I go over here and jump onto the uh, little cog, this is our calendar settings. You'll see if you hover over any of the options here, it will give you an idea of what it's going to take you to. Clicking on that calendar settings icon, you now see that the two calendars that I own in here, I can, I've got the option of sharing them. Sharing means that everyone in your organization will be able to see your calendar. I think it's very important, especially if you're trying to scale your business, to share each and every calendar because now you can take bookings uh, for all of the other people in your organization and they can do the same for you. So if you've got an admin working the front desk or you've got someone helping you out or you're just managing a team of outdoor trainers, you want to be able to know when you can book people into their calendar. So that's what the sharing function is. You can obviously then delete or rename a calendar. The next one is the uh, cog here uh, will take you to an option to start alter the, the starting day uh, for your week. Uh, I prefer to start my day on a Sunday. Some people don't like that. So you can then drop it down and, and choose to start the calendar on any day of the week. Once you select that, uh, refresh the screen, uh, refresh the page, and that will update that, um, that day for you. So jumping out of there, uh, what we can do now is quickly have a look what it looks like to put an event in the calendar. Um, 
uh, and that you can do that essentially by clicking anywhere on the calendar and then you can adjust the details. I'm going to go in into that in more detail in the next video and we'll show you how to enter an event into the calendar. Thanks very much for joining us for this short quick tutorial. I hope you enjoy the link for calendar as much as we do.